Let's look at this uh, two-piece flange four, uh, 1928. But first, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna explain this banjo in a minute, but first I'm gonna play it. This was a two-piece flange that they took some of the wood off the rim and put one-piece flange parts on it. So it sounds more like a one-piece flange. And it also has that pre-war sound. <laughs> story here. All right, so let's look at the base of the banjo, and you'll notice that uh, it has all new Pruka hardware on it, okay? Because the original two-piece flange hardware will no longer fit, all right? And we have a Tim Davis Hearts and Flowers neck. When we go up the neck, you can see that. Of course, it says Gibson on it. And so the neck is pretty much new. Take this thing off of there. All right. Now, let's look at the back. So here we have the four resonator. It's made out of mahogany. So this is an original Gibson resonator. And I'm going to look, we'll look at the resonator uh, a little more in a little more detail. Let me just take the uh, back of it. Now, just so you understand, the uh, two-piece flange rims when you look at the bottom of them, are three-quarter of an inch thick, okay? And the one-piece rim, uh, rims are five-eighths of an inch thick, okay? So what you do is you take the bottom of the rim only, not the top, and you cut it from three-quarter to five-eighths inch thick, and then all of a sudden, you can fit a one-piece flange onto the, uh, onto the rim and have a one-piece flange Banjo. Now, one piece flange banjos cost about three times as much as a two piece flange. So, if you can do this and get the same sound or similar to one piece, and you're a player, that's a wonderful thing. Okay, so let's look at this resonator. So, you'll see the small concentric rings, they're thin. Okay, that's mahogany. Uh, the side of the uh, resonator, Ronnie Bales did this and he uh, put some finish on it, okay, the side, but the back looks fairly original. It may have been oversprayed. Um, and then you look at the resonator itself, and you'll see the serial number in chalk. And over to here, you'll see the serial number painted on, okay? So it's a 1928 Gibson resonator. Then when we look at the uh, back of the shell, okay, you'll notice it's a 5 8 inch shell now, okay? Now what they did, they finished it, and uh, Ronnie just, for the heck of it, just inlaid a mark, I don't know what that's called, Some looks like a binding strip in there, just, just for fanciness, I guess. But the main thing about this banjo, which is so cool, is it is a master tone. It came out of the factory as a master tone. There's the original master tone label right there course cut for the flathead tone ring and that is a first quality tone ring 
Uh, they probably made more tone rings than anybody else in the world. And um, if you have any interest in the banjo, you can call Andy at 404-372-5482. Or you can go to banjowarehouse.com and see pictures of it. If you want to visit us, you can fly in. We're seven minutes from the airport. Or drive in. Uh, if you do visit us, call the day before because we may, might be out looking for banjos. The good news is we can see you at your convenience Sunday. We can see it at seven in the afternoon, seven in the evening. So, and if you come, you're welcome to stay as long as you want. Uh, we got about 70 banjos all the time that are used, so you can compare them. Have a lot of fun, and when you get done, you'll know more about banjos than most people. And that's basically it. So, uh, if you have any questions, give us a call, and you guys have a great day.